Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I am here in Blackpool with the Mac Master. A very scared Mac Master. He's very scared because we're going to be taking a walk down Middle Walk, and it's a part of the promenade that goes from, can you see up there, we've got the Metropole, you might be able to see the Metropole, and if I look just behind me, this is it here, Middle Walk, it goes all the way to Ginn Square. Now, I've told you a little bit about this, haven't I? Yeah, that's why I'm a bit apprehensive, I have to say. <laughs> now, I just want to say, before we can continue, that Blackpool is a very, very safe place for people to come and have fun for families and all that sort of thing. And everywhere has its places. You're from Mansfield, aren't you? And yeah, there's, there's a lot more places in Mansfield. <laughs> <laughs> so everywhere has its uh, kind of rough kind of places and the sort of places where oh you don't want to go down there now don't you yeah and this is yeah. probably one of them and this is one of them middle walk so yeah so like i said we're just north of the metropole and what and one of the reasons why this this part of blackpool has bit, got a bit of a reputation is because it attracts beer monsters and and people like that you know sort of thing yeah so we get these kind of people that meet up down here and another thing as well is they always tend to meet up at stupid times of the th i'm talking like in the early hours of the morning like we're doing now <laughs> <laughs> you know there's a saying never do stupid things with stupid people at stupid times of the day in stupid places and i'm the stupid person that you're doing it with <laughs> and it's a stupid time <laughs> So really, this place here, Middle Walk, it's a fantastic place to walk. You can walk your dogs up and down. In fact, this was this was opened in 1926, and it was designed by a, um, a council architect by the name of J.C. Robertson. I'll put his picture on the screen now. And he designed all sorts of things in Blackpool. Libraries, civic buildings, all that sort of thing. And if you look at the old pictures of this place where we are now, Middle Walk, you'll see people all dressed up and you know it's a really really nice place at one time and it's such a shame that it, uh, since sort of like the 70s and 80s you know when Blackpool started to decline that Middle Walk and, and some other parts of Blackpool kind of went downhill and then it attracted a different class of people and that's really what what went wrong with it. More beer monsters now. <laughs> beer monsters yeah so we're going to take a walk down here now and let's see if we can get to the other side can we make it to Ginn Square alive <laughs> let's see let's hope so let's go then Okay, now you brought your light with you. <laughs> Where are we? It's the Blair Witch Project. They're coming for us. They're coming for us. Be a monsters everywhere. <laughs> now I just want to show you something up here. This kind of gives you some idea about what I'm talking about. Can you see that sign there? During the past few weeks, in fact, that's probably an old sign, that isn't it? It's become apparent that offences of litter, criminal damage, activity, unacceptable nature taking place in this area so that sign there kind of tells you a little bit uh, about where we're going to you know so i'm a bit worried now <laughs> seeing the police notice as well uh, any suspicious activity like people with lights underneath <laughs> their faces and people with cameras <gasps> let's have a look <laughs> let's take your one hey but we're not far from blackpool tower though we've got blackpool tower it's like a it's like a beacon of hope for us 
a beacon, I like that, a beacon of hope. Do you know what? I love Blackpool. Let's take a wander and let's see whether we can actually prove this video wrong. And there is no crime and no beer monsters. And it's just a nice little walk. But who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Here we go. See those two dodgy characters on the back, so they look a bit like roadmen. There's quite a few of them in Blackpool. And you know, I remember back in the 1990s when this place was probably at its worst for violence. There was so much violence going on down here. I used to read in the paper every week. There always used to be some attack going on down here. Someone get attacked and, you know, or mugged or something like that. And whenever I looked at the time, it was always like two or three o'clock in the morning. So that goes to show you that sometimes it's all about the time you go down somewhere. I mean, like I say, during the day, this place is a nice place to come. Yeah. They have events down here. They have the bus driver of the year competition down here. They also have, you know, like when they bring the, the, the sports cars and the, the, the car meets, they do that down here as well. But uh, you just don't want to be coming down here. At two in, in the morning. morning. In, the, in the early hours. Anyway, let's carry on. So we're making our way from the tower you can see the towers all lit up in pink there yeah and uh, we've just got to the beach patrol lee so this is the blackpool it's uh can, can you light it up <laughs> there you go can you see that yeah this is where the beach patrol are based they're based right here on the middle wall yeah so uh, and another thing about middle walk as well is it has this amazing colonnade structure what they call a colonnade and we're just seeing it now, can you see? On this uh, this right-hand side here, we've got this structure here, which it's like a cantilever, the way that the um, the footpath comes over. Can you see here the footpath? Right. If we go up here, now this is where you have to be a bit careful. <laughs> All right. We're actually going underneath the... Uh, <laughs> got to be careful up here. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> it's, it's a dodgy. little bit the dark light, up here. Not flashing right, there we go. Uh, Oh my oh. word, where is he? Uh, uh, what's all that? There's a little bit of... Uh, what's that? Just where you're walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. So we're underneath the footpath hey, now. Oh no, it's what's that? Keep, it's a keep out. Ah, maybe that's a sign, keep out. What do you maybe, think? Maybe oh. that means keep out. What's uh, that dripping? Look at this. Well, we've got... Uh, some water safe. coming. <laughs> yeah, maybe the keep out is for a reason. <laughs> keep going. Well, oh, I just had a drip on me then. <laughs> you know, a tram just went past before then, didn't it? And I, did you feel the? The vibrations yeah. from the tram, yeah. You know, it remind, reminds me a little bit of the London Underground, you know, like when you when you hear that. You can hear the rumble of the tram. Yeah, the rumble of the... the, the we can hear the rumble of the tram going going overhead. We can hear people talking as well, on just up here. Because <laughs> we're underneath the, the footpath. It's actually angled out this way, yeah. There's a lot of... Uh, I'm just wondering where we walk, because the light's so bright <laughs> shining in our eyes. But I can't see where we're walking, and there is a lot of debris on the floor and you know i've just noticed something as well just up ahead of us is a bit that's been closed off let's let's turn the camera around and look oh, at yeah. this sounds like there's uh, okay, somebody yeah a little bit naughty oh i can hear voices i can hear voices as well yeah hopefully they're as, as scared as we are <laughs> <laughs> there's a section up there that's been closed off now normally you'd be able to walk through there and get to the top level but at the moment it's been closed off so uh, it doesn't look like we can go that way so we're gonna have to go back down here there's somebody in there yeah yeah so that section there I don't know if you can see but uh, what was that it, this is these are the colonnades yeah and that's like a little walkway or a, a ramp that goes up to the, the to the promenade but at the moment it's been closed off so we're not allowed to go in there I don't know why they've closed it off unless it's something to do with that crumbling concrete I'm not too sure look at that. it's amazing isn't it look at these railings here look 1926 yeah 
It's, a, it's, a, it's an impressive structure, isn't it? And uh, oh. oh, sorry, <laughs> I wondered what that was. <laughs> it just heard someone shouting then on the promenade. It's a, I think, I think, the, I think the, the, the beer monster's on the promenade shouting there. Yeah, we can even, you know, the funny thing is, is that when the illuminations are on, you can see the illuminations up there and people walking and, oh, look at the illuminations and all that. And yet down here, it's like, I don't know, it's so quiet. And yet it's, quite it's a little bit eerie as well. Yeah. And uh, they do have regular pol police patrols down here. Well, they have to really, because it, people get up to all sorts of <laughs> all sorts of I don't know what was going on back there but there was some there was somebody some, in there <laughs> there was someone in there so we didn't really want to <laughs> don't want to disturb them <laughs> yeah anyway we'll uh, carry on <laughs> so we're just going up another ramp here now let's go and check if this one's open now there should be a ramp in here uh, um, oh, it's all boarded off. Well, this section here is fenced off. So this this section here, can you see around there? Yeah, it's fenced off. But uh, we can we can go up this ramp. So we'll, we'll have a little look up here, shall we? And see where it brings us out to, shall yeah. we? Can you smell that? <laughs> it smells of <laughs> smells a bit wee wee. It's an interesting smell. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see where we come out to up here, shall we? You know, I think a bit of a jet wash and a, a bit of a paint. It's what a, do you think? I'd say it's a bit of a doer upper. A definitely a doer upper. <laughs> you think you need Lawrence from <laughs> Ellen Bowen with some uh, MDF? <laughs> oh, look at this. Hey, hey, the Imperial. Oh, hey. come on. Look at that. It's brought us out at the Imperial. Isn't it amazing? Oh, that's got, that's nice got to be. That's got to be the grandest hotel in Blackpool. What do you think? I think that's an absolutely gorgeous building that is. Do you know what? How old is that building? I think it's about 1865 when it opened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 1865. I wonder how much it is to stop the night there. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not expensive. It's not expensive, no. At the Imperial Hotel, obviously it was a very, very posh hotel when it opened. I mean, people like Charles Dickens and, and the Queen Mother has stayed there. Some very famous people stayed there. But nowadays it's kind of like a sort of, I'm not really sure what the star rating is, but uh, I think Sorry. that, uh, are no, you okay? Biggest fan there. <laughs> your biggest fan there. Oh. Um, we met a few times. <laughs> She loves you as well, yeah. but it's McMaster, the biggest fan. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, my, my sister lives Mansfield way anyway. We... Well, that was a circle up, wasn't it? We just came up that walkway there to see the Imperial Hotel and we bumped into some fans of both of our channels. Amazing, isn't it? And where are they from? Yeah. One of them was from Mansfield and the lady was... Le from she's from Liverpool, the lady was from Liverpool. Um, they both lived here and his sister lived uh, near Mansfield. Yeah. Um, I can't see where we're going. They were a lovely, I'm going to shine it that lovely way, family because I can't see. <laughs> it's, Here we go. Uh, it's a bit Here we daunting. Go. Look at this. Oh, we're going into the darkness again, folks. Oh. Here we go. Watch where you're walking. <laughs> oh, I've got that smell again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it smells a bit uh, hmm, odd. And then you've got the beacon of hope in the distance. We've there. still got that beacon of hope, folks. The tower, it's shining there. Giving us that hope to carry on. Oh. Yeah, so here's a good look at the uh, one of these. There's five of these, by the way. Yeah, five altogether of these, like, sort of semicircular. And they have some uh, nice uh, viewing areas on the top as well. Uh, so, yeah... Um, was there anything in them back in the time? Was there anything in them? I don't know actually. Um, all all I know is that um, I tell you what, we look like silhouettes. <laughs> that looks actually quite spooky, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. But it was, it was, it was a nice place to walk, and it still is. You know, it's just that you just don't want to come down here at when we're here at this time. <laughs> that looks weird, doesn't it? Scary. <laughs> So 
so we're now just under one of those uh, structures now with the ramps and as you can see here we've got these look at these columns aren't they amazingly beautiful actually Absolutely yeah gorgeous yeah so it's worth a look coming down here if you're coming down obviously i would say don't come down at stupid o'clock but if you come down during the day there's lots of people that come down here and ride the bikes and walk the dog and they don't have a problem at all it's just um the certain people that meet down here at certain times of the day or at the night in the early hours <laughs> in the morning and that's where you tend to get the trouble <laughs> i'm not sure i've got the light in the right place i would say it's uh, kind of <laughs> right okay so we've now come underneath the canopy again haven't we and hopefully it's not going to come tumbling on, on top when, when those trams go across my goodness <laughs> All the dust coming off the roof, the yeah ceiling. but it started to rain hasn't it so it's really kind of tipping it down. it's been a bad day today hasn't it it's been chucking it down but it's starting to rain now but we're not too far from the end <sighs> what do what do you think we're going to come back the opposite way are we going to make it we've still got a little bit to go yet oh we can still see the tower there it's getting further and further away and the rain is coming down oh my goodness but we're not far away are we eh? the oh home. we're not far away but i think we've got one more of these this one seems to be open by the way there's a ramp there that goes up to the promenade there i think it takes you up to the grand hotel so yeah there's one more in the distance we're not too far away folks you know there seem to be some cables up there don't i think that they used to have lighting of it in here you know yeah, yeah the, i think there was lighting all the way along there's got some lights up there but i think that there used to be lights is that a cable that looks like a cable doesn't it, it? Yeah. Like a cable yeah yeah it's been sealed off yeah I, I, I do think that they had lights all the way along maybe maybe along the side there i don't know there, there just seem to be cables up here look up, up can you see cables dangling down yeah look at all these yeah things. look at that oh there's like cable holders they're like cable holders aren't they yeah and as you can see there is quite a wide road down here as well it's uh, it's plenty of space for cars and we haven't seen a police car yet, have we? But <laughs> no, probably very shortly we probably will do. <laughs> They'll be coming after. <laughs> They'll be coming after us. <laughs> Can you still see the tower? It is actually quite well lit down here. Actually, that that's uh, that's not too bad, is it? It's quite well. Lit. We're just opposite the Grand Hotel, by the way. And I was just telling Lee here that we used to have the Derby baths. What were they? The Derby Bass was a, I think like an Olympic swimming pool and it used seawater. Ah. Yeah, seawater. And it was just over there. It was next to what what is now the Grand Hotel, as you can see. But at that time it was a Pembroke. It was originally a Pembroke. And there is something I want to show you. And it's just, well, it's just down here. Very interesting to do with the Derby Bass. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Before we carry on we've not got too much further to go so we're just coming down this bit of a ramp now oh. to the lower walk and it's okay, a little it's bit slippy. it's a little bit slippy isn't it it's, a little it's bit not icy slippy. is it and i don't know if you can see this if you could put the light on there oh, Look, there's a building here yeah because it's really slippy now I don't know if you can see that but there is a there's a building here and this used to be this used to be the pump house for the Derby Bass this here yeah I wonder what's inside what? it now well there looks like a doorway there that's been sealed off yeah right. so this is where they pump the seawater in and out of the the Derby Bass using this uh, building here what do you think Lee? I'd love to get inside there and see what's actually in there now. whether there's anybody or anything left in there yeah memories from the past and this is where we are we're now on to the lower walk and look at that we can still see that amazing view of Blackpool Tower there look at that 
So we're now just coming up this ramp on the other side and it is slippy isn't it Lee? My goodness it's like it's like walking on ice. A beer monster was here. Not a very hardcore one though because it's Budweiser. <laughs> So uh, we just bumped into some uh, younger uh, fans of the channel there, didn't we? Walk in the wild side. Yeah. Hey, I got around me, don't I? Yeah, and uh, it looks like we've made it to the end I have to of say, Middle Walk. I wouldn't come down here at two in the morning. Yeah. It is a bit dodgy. There's some people behind there as well. I can see shadows over there in the darkness, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's been a little bit edgy, hasn't it, as well, you know, at times. It's, 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 it hasn't kicked off yet, though, it's is it? Not, it's not three o'clock in the morning, so you can imagine, can't you, what it might be like coming here at that time in the morning. Anyway, but uh, we managed to make it out alive. Um, and like I say, Blackpool is not a dangerous place, and this place here is not particularly dangerous. It all depends on the time of day that you come. I advise not to come down here at night, but if you want to come here during the day and ride your bike or walk your dog, no problem whatsoever. So uh, I think we're going to leave it there now. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this guy. <laughs> Look, I forgot. I keep forgetting to say so. I have to subscribe to the Mac Master. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description. We made it to the end of Middle War. What do you think? Well, I'm not speaking too soon. There's a cyclist now. Is it a cyclist or? I what think is it's that? Uh, it's a neat, it's one of those scooters, isn't it? And it's it seems a... to be unrestricted. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> this could be. Oh no! Who is that? <gasps> this. That could be. I think they might. Yeah. There we Making go. a big splash. Making a big splash. There we go. It's just like being in bed. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is not far, by the way, from the point where there's a plaque where um, Alan Bradley got knocked over by the tram is it? That's right yeah it's not too far from the Imperial to be honest it's the Strand Hotel if you go to the Strand Hotel which is not far from the Imperial that's where they have the plaque for Alan Bradley it's just a bit so he got run over by a tram just up there on the promenade. Hopefully yeah. we won't on the way yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go that's the video um, I hope you like it if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe to him. <laughs> Rita, don't bite your stupid bitch! <laughs>